What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Today I got something special for you. I'm making one of my favorite dishes. Something my mother taught me years ago. But I'm doing it with a twist. We've got a fresh salmon filet here. Beautiful, looking pretty. It's a pound here. We're going to be making salmon croquettes. Or some people call them salmon cakes. Let's jump right into the ingredients. Real simple. I've got half a cup of onions, half a cup of red peppers, half a cup of celery, the trinity, garlic powder, lemon powder, and my favorite, gotta have it in there, cayenne pepper. We're going to get started here with this filet, right off the bat, beautiful, thick, we got to get that skin off of there, so we're going to get our butcher knife, come in here, filet, get that skin off of there, and we're going to go from there, alright. Come in here right at the edge. Cut it. Keep it flat. Make sure it don't move on you. And it doesn't matter if you don't get it exactly perfect. You can always go back and cut it back off. Do what you need to do with it. Come back over here. Just want to keep it as flat as you can and that should be it just like that I'm going to go ahead and take this guy go ahead and cut him up fillets like that I'm going to thin it out a little more these thicker slices Normally, my mom showed me how to make this. She would normally use the canned salmon. It's a lot easier. Just take it out of the can. You'll remove the bones. It's a lot easier to remove the skin. You don't have to cut it like this. And then you would move forward with the recipe. We're going fresh today. I've got these filleted up. I'm going to grab some saran wrap and move on to step two. If you want it, you could come in and cut a little more of this off. If you wanted to try to get all of it off. But... I'm not going to be that picky with it today. I'm going to just roll with what we got. We just got one one strip of the salmon filet. We cut it into strips. And we're going to beat it out. We're going to flatten it. We'll start off like this. Just want to take it easy. You don't want to bang and beat it up and get it, tear it all apart. Once you get to a part where the point where you it's thin enough and you can start to kind of see through it, then you'll flip it around to this side, this side, and start banging it. Move this back some. Give me some more room. texture that we're looking for to make the salmon patties. Looks good. Take this out. Flip it onto a cutting board. That's the texture we want. This is what we're going to be working with. We can take this, we can form this, we can do what we want to do with it. We'll repeat the process. If you want, you can lay out one long, one real large piece of saran wrap and lay all the pieces out and flatten them all out. We're going to go ahead and knock the rest of those out and we'll continue on with the recipe. We're doing the same thing. I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like when you get all the pieces of fillets laid out. 
You want to bang them out the same way we banged out the first piece. Get them thin. Some good, good meat here. One of my favorite fishes. Fish. all set up this is how we want it to be move this plastic off see the texture of it you notice this, this meat's a lot different from the meat when you buy the, the salmon in the box in the can sorry the pretty pink to it you don't have the bones you don't have that real dark brown this is where that dark brown comes from when it's canned it's just that middle piece of it but it's still, you don't have that smell that you have when you're dealing with the can. This is a lot fresher salmon croquette. Okay, this is the finished product that we're going to be working with. Making our patty. It's looking good. We're starting off with lemon pepper. Lemon pepper seasoning. I'm going to put a good amount in here. Next, we're going with garlic powder. If you like, you don't have to use the garlic powder. You can use uh, fresh garlic, cut it up, and dice it up. Same way I use these vegetables. And of course, my favorite, I gotta go with my cayenne. Mix that up. You don't take that. Get your hands in there, mix it up real good. Put that in there, mix it all up. This is uh, keto friendly. This is low carb friendly. People been asking and requesting for me to make something that wasn't deep fried. Something didn't have a lot of calories to it. So I thought about it for a while. I come up with this dish. It's awesome. It's good. It's not that cheap. But it's something good. We're going to go ahead and throw this in the refrigerator. And for about 15 minutes. Don't take long for those flavors to get into the meat, and we're gonna go ahead and jump into our vegetables. Okay, in a pan, I've got two tablespoons of butter. Starting going in with all of my vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna saute them all the way. Just going to cook them until they're a little translucent. While that's going, I'll go ahead and chop up some lettuce and tomato to go with it. You don't have to saute your onions, bell peppers, celery. This is just the way I do it comes out pretty good for me you don't have big chunks and hard pieces of vegetables but that's the way you like yours also you don't have to use butter you can put two tablespoons of olive oil sesame oil whatever type of healthy oil you prefer to use in butter I just use it for a little extra flavor 
and that's all we want right there. We'll go ahead and set that to the side in the bowl and let it come back to room temperature. Okay, I went ahead and added my vegetables. They came back down to room temperature. I've added my vegetables to my grinded salmon patty. We're going to add one egg to help bind it. Mix that guy around. Really easy. Do with your hand. I like to get my hands in there and feel the texture of it. From there, we can make patties. We can work with it. Fix that up. There. Get the egg. Go ahead and start forming these up. And get them on a, I've got a cast iron skillet here with about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of olive oil. And you want to make them thin, you don't want them too thick. I'm going to go straight into the oil with these guys. If you're not looking to eat it as healthy, you can add some fish fry to it and drop it with some grease. I'm going to get this guy just like that. In the process, this is a little smaller. Just straight into it. Let's add it out. Let that cook. Five minutes on each side, it's ready to go. Okay, this is what it looks like over a bed of lettuce with some tomatoes and lemon. I'm going to add some ranch with that and eat that. I'll give you guys a peek of what it's looking like on the inside. These guys are looking beautiful, it's smelling so good. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's so delicate. That's good stuff. Keto friendly, low carb friendly, plenty of omega 3s. You guys trying to get swole up, get you some of these salmon croquets. You ladies trying to look good for the summertime, get these old salmon croquets. Salmon cake, they tasting good. If you're looking for some more keto friendly or some lower fat, lower deep fried instead of deep fried. Make comments down below. Let me know what you'd like to see me make. I need some ideas. I'm trying to come out with something different. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep seeing future videos. Salmon croquets with a twist. Nothing out of the can. Fresh. Right out the land. Have a good one.